Can you fix all your health issues with just a glass of water? That's what alkaline water companies want you to think, but they are just scamming you. But alkaline water is good for one thing, and that is coming up later in this video. And at the end of this video, we're going to be doing a taste test. So stick around for that. Hi, welcome to Rationable. I'm Abhijit, a science enthusiast and a boy standing in front of the world just asking to fact check everything on it. If this is your first time here, let me tell you what this is all about. I break down controversial topics, alternative medicines, fads and scams to understand the science and the facts behind them so we know what's real fake or something in between. If that's your jam, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get more every week. Now, in an earlier video, I mentioned my first encounter with alkaline diets. Now, let me tell you how my first encounter with alkaline water went. A close family friend told us about this new product in the market, a black water called Evocus. He rattled off some amazing properties of this product like having over 70 minerals in it along with a bunch of health benefits like we will be talking about a little later in this video. But first, let's recap. In the last video that we talked about this, I've clearly shown that the body's pH balance is super hard to change for several reasons. Namely, the digestive system first acidifies everything you eat and then alkalizes it to bring it back to neutral. Now, the body automatically keeps the blood's alkaline level stable by pulling out carbonic acid and carbon dioxide, which goes out through your lungs, and other acidic compounds and waste products through your kidneys, and that's called respiratory or metabolic pH balance. Shifting the acid-alkaline balance of the body is not possible through the foods and drinks that we consume. It's a symptom of far deeper more serious problems and will certainly lead to the need for hospitalization. Now, this does cover the basics of why what we eat doesn't affect our body in the many ways that we are led to believe. But I want to dig deeper into this topic because it's essential to understand what alkaline diets and water claim and why they are wrong. Now, it turns out that evocus and generic alkaline waters have a lot of common claims. So first, let's look at Evocus's claims, and then we'll pick up more generic claims of alkaline water and what it's supposed to do. So first, the immediate benefits. It reduces acidity, and this is actually true. We even got a testimonial from the Evocus management team during their launch press conference. I'll link the video in the description. It treated one member's acidity. A study in 2012 found that alkaline water with a pH of 8.8 .8 can neutralize pepsin, an enzyme in the digestive tract related to the production of hydrochloric acid, one of the digestive juices in your stomach. But this was in a lab and not in a human or animal, so it's not very good evidence. However, just talking chemistry, alkaline things react with acidic things to bring it closer to neutral. So if you've got heartburn, it's likely that drinking alkaline water will reduce your acidity, giving you some relief. But we already have much more effective and cheaper remedies like antacids. So why even go to alkaline water? Some say, well, actually Evoca says, superior hydration. Now, one explanation I've seen offered for this claim is that water molecules in alkaline water are smaller and lead to better hydration at the cellular level. <sighs> really? Excuse me? We've gone from breaking the laws of biology to breaking the laws of physics? Like, something's pH level is determined by the properties of its molecules. It can either donate a proton and accept a neutron, which is making it an acid, 
or donate an electron and accept a proton in a chemical reaction. Now, water is neutral in its natural state. The only way to change its pH is to dissolve another substance in it with a different pH or do it through ionization or some other process. And the sizes of the molecules don't change either way. This is just an absolutely blatant bit of nonsense that they've mentioned as a scientific explanation. Now, the next one is replenishes your energy. Now, Evocus claims that the 70 plus natural minerals it contains can replenish your body's energy. I have a couple of problems with this. First, there's no mention of these 70 plus minerals they've added. The bottle only mentions magnesium and sodium on its nutritional label. That's two. Where are all the other 68 plus minerals? I couldn't find any more details on their website or even Amazon page. They keep going on and on about their 70 plus minerals, but their names are nowhere to be found. Why is that? Now, secondly, the primary things that give your body energy are carbohydrates, ketones in the absence of carbs, and stimulants like caffeine. Minerals don't give you energy. They don't make you more alert. The minerals in your diet help with metabolic functions. They aren't meant to give you energy. Now, the long-term benefits. Detoxification. Now, I've spoken about detoxing before and I've linked the article I've written about in the description. And I know that most products in the market that claim to detoxify your body do no such thing. On the Evocus website, they say this improves your digestion and gut health. How? And how does that detoxify your body? I, I couldn't find any research to address this claim either. So there is no evidence to support this claim either. And now the classic, boosts immunity. Many articles say alkaline water boosts immunity, but none of them have provided any evidence for it. I've written about this and I've made a video about it too, which I'll link in the description. And I found that no one thing can be done to improve your body's immunity. Since the immune system comprises of so many components, proteins and enzymes, its health is also dependent on good health. Nutrition, sleep, stress management and overall physical health. Except for maybe getting a vaccine, which you should, especially now. Now, until now, alkaline water might only help with acidity, so I don't see how it'll help with the immune system. Again, no evidence for this claim. The next thing this stuff boosts is apparently metabolism. They say Evocus reduces acidity and therefore boosts the metabolism, leading to more burning of fat. Now, how on earth did they make that leap? By that logic, I should be able to chug down antacids and get ripped. Next one is heightened alertness. Again, with alertness. They've made the same claim as replenishes your energy thing, so I'm not going to repeat myself anymore as far as that's concerned. The next claim they make is enhances endurance. So apparently, alkaline water's superior hydration improves endurance. Again, I've cleared this up at an earlier point, so we'll just move on. I found a few more claims that go beyond those claimed by Evocus from an article on food.ndtv.com. Let's fact check those. Your immune system may neutralize the acidity in your body. Your immune system does no such thing. It's not meant to. As I said earlier, your lungs and your kidneys are in charge of maintaining the pH balance of your body. Now, your immune system protects your body against infections. That's like saying your nose can also digest food. <laughs> the next claim is that alkaline water has various minerals that are good for your bones. Okay, depending on the brand and method of making the alkaline water, it could have some minerals. Still, it may change from one manufacturer or recipe to another. Next is golden. 
alkaline water has antioxidants. Alkaline water could have antioxidants if they are added to it. It's not a natural property of alkaline water and this too depends on the manufacturer and or the recipe. Now here's a bonus claim that I've seen everywhere and you've probably seen it with you know a lot of jars of water filled with citrus fruits. Now this one has always confused me so I looked it up. It turns out that this can be true in a sense. Potential renal acid load is a measure of how much acid or base your kidneys have to process in the context of the food you consume. Once digested, lemon juice and other citrus fruits create alkaline byproducts, which leads to a lower acid load on your kidneys and lower pH urine. But this does not change the pH of your blood for any meaningful period of time. It's a fluctuation your kidneys level out very, very quickly. The same thing can be said for apple cider vinegar, which many alkaline water recipes include. Another interesting ingredient is fulvic and humic acids. Press releases by Evocus have also claimed that this company uses the methods first discovered by Dr. Norbert Chires. I'm probably screwing that name up. This guy claimed that fulvic acids acids lead to the benefits of alkaline water. Now, fulvic acids are naturally found in humus, not hummus. Just saying. This actually is, you know, the top soil of, um, of the, you know, the top of the soil with the most fertile, lots of rotted vegetation, sewage, yeah, and marine sediments as a byproduct of the decomposition of organic things like food and plants. Basically, garbage and dead things. I know what you're thinking, it's pretty gross. Now, Ayurveda uses Shilajit, which contains a lot of fulvic acids and is also called mineral pitch. Now, Shilajit is found naturally in some mountain ranges around the world, including the Himalayas. Now, that sounds like a very fancy name, were literally hot garbage. Don't get me wrong though, in one review there seems to be some promise, but the results are still very, very basic. Yeah, I went there. Now, most of the studies are either very small or performed on animals or in the lab. We still don't know for sure how it'll work in humans and what the doses might be. The benefits may include reducing inflammation, protecting brain function, lowering cholesterol and improving gut health, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. So what does this all mean? Alkaline water is one of the fastest growing consumable products in the market right now. According to Phi Global Insights, between 2013 and 2018, the volume of alkaline water sales rose from 357 million liters to 635 million liters globally, representing a compound annual growth rate or CAGR of 12.2%, according to market research company Zenith Global. It predicts sales will continue to rise, outpacing the overall premium water market to reach a value of 4.32 billion US dollars by the end of 2023. So what does that mean? People evidently love the stuff and are essentially lapping up every last drop of the claims thrown around by brands like Evocus. To add to this, Evocus has a lot of star power with lots of celebrities endorsing the brand all over the place. And I don't mean to target Evocus and just Evocus though. It's just the most visible brand in the Indian market right now. But there are tons more, like Evermore. Essentia, Icelandic, and Cure, just to name a few. They are everywhere. Now, on top of that, water purifier brands like Kent and Havels have gotten in on that action too by advertising that their water purifiers make the water alkaline. But as we have fact-checked every one of those primary claims, 
we can see pretty clearly that none of these hold water except for acidity. You can treat acidity with alkaline water. That's basic chemistry, but you get more effective and cheaper options at your local chemist. So why even go there? Just go for regular water from your home filter, tap, your country does that sort of thing. But if you're in India, this doesn't apply to you. You can even go for normal bottled water. Don't fall for this obvious scam. So here goes. Cheers. I feel better already. But yeah, how does it taste? Like water. I guess it's not too bad. Can't taste anything else in there. So, have you tried alkaline water just like I did? Do you think it helped you in any way? Tell me your stories of alkalinity in the comments below and don't be basic. If you like this video, show it by clicking the like button, subscribing to this channel and if you possibly could, support me on Patreon. The links for all of this and more ways to get in touch are all given in the description below. Until next time, stay rationable.